Well, what's your favourite? Keyboards. Um, yeah. But I've started getting back back into the guitar. I only really learnt the guitar when I was kind of late teens, and it's because yeah. the keyboard wasn't very cool when I was at school. It was like yeah. a piano. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to be cool. Uh, didn't really work. <laughs> 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 that would be cool. Um, but yeah, I find I find the guitar easier for writing songs on. Yeah. Uh, and then most of the time they get moved over to the keyboard mm -hmm. rather than starting out on the keyboard. Um, just because I find it quite distracting. There's a lot of notes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm quite limited in the guitar. There's only kind yeah. of certain things that I can do. And I sort of play it a bit like I play the keyboard. Yeah. I can't really strum right. or any of those kind of things, but I can yeah. I can kind of pick it in the yeah. same way that I would play the piano. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Any other instruments you can play? The glockenspiel. The oh, now we have another glockenspiel up here. <laughs> you turn I up really that. Oh. Um, I've started playing glockenspiel in the band. Yeah. Mm. Really? Oh yeah. Let's go and see this band. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is that a difficult instrument? To no. Make? <laughs> it's even got all the uh, names of the notes on on each name. So really? <laughs> couldn't be easier. Yeah. That's good. Um, no, nothing else particularly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like, there's a lot of instruments I'd like to learn. I'd like to yeah. learn pretty much all of the strings. I'd like to be able to play the cello, I'd like to be able to play the violin, yeah. viola, and the yeah, bass. Yeah. Maybe one day. Of course, plenty <laughs> Maybe of Maybe I'll learn all the instruments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do all the instrument work on your own. Yeah, well, that'd be uh, quite something. You'd <laughs> <laughs> be that great. <laughs> Right, it's time. He's, he's got it primed for me. Because last no. week I, I surprised them by doing some kind of visual thing here where I went, it's time for our three, two, one. I'm afraid I haven't got anything as good <laughs> as last week. If you've looked, watched the Meg Bradley thing, you know what I'm on about. If you want to check it out, it's online from the Royal R Facebook page. Uh, I did some drawings and she was so impressed with the drawing, she's promised me it would be on the album cover of oh, her wow. first album. That's it, exciting. It looks like a two-year-old drew it. Maybe you yeah. could do the artwork for my next time. All right. Okay, you're on. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll knock something up in a minute. All right. <laughs> my dad would kill me. <laughs> Is he an artist? He did the artwork on the last one. So, right. uh, yeah. No, I'm not. Into that. No. You know, kind of like stick insects. And that'll be it. <laughs> I don't think he'd be. It's well about my level too. Yeah. Right. Three. Three reasons I should come and watch you play. Um. <laughs> there will be beer, and will I will be there, and I might make you cry. Yeah. Um, so bring a sometimes hand I give people hugs. Sometimes people give me hugs. There you go. There's loads of reasons. Yeah. All three there. <laughs> uh, two people, famous, dead or alive, you'd like in your band. Uh, Regina Spector, mm -hmm. and she could do all the singing and playing and songwriting and then just kind of stand there. Um, and maybe Bob Dylan. I reckon that would be quite a powerful force yeah. of songwriting at it least. It would be. Yeah. Right, yeah. That sounds good yeah, to me. We'll do that. <laughs> and final question tonight. One artist you could recommend to come up here to the studio to do a live acoustic session? One. One, yeah. Loads. Go on, then give me a load, sir, if you like. Let me do a rest. <laughs> I hoping you'd say that. Um, Do you my, think you'd come though? Because it's a long way. Uh, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Okay. Um, Gaz Brookfield's amazing, but that's also a long way. Yeah. Um, Lindsay and Bex, um, Lindsay Bullimore and Rebecca Cullen, they're both, my, well, one's an ex housemate now, yeah. but they're both awesome. Uh, Pete Taylor, he does kind of live reading. There's millions. Whoa. <laughs> I'll send you a list. Yeah. <laughs> well, this will be live at Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get a transfer down to the Bristol Hospital. And then I could do the, the radio yeah, show down like there. That, yeah. yeah. Why not? There you are. <laughs> live from the world. Royal life from Bristol. Long way to walk, though, Dave. Maybe sweet way. It is. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming up tonight. Thank you for having Have me. Have a good Christmas. And you. And uh, see you sometime yeah. in the new year. Come on. What are you going to finish with? I'm going to finish with, it's another one from the forthcoming album. Oh. Um, What's the name of the album again? Well, it's You're undecided. Sure. Yeah. It's undecided. Mm. But this is the song that it will probably be named after. This is the plan. Right. Um, this is a song that I wrote for a good friend of mine. She got diagnosed with breast cancer yeah. last year um, and she was uh, kind of halfway through her chemo. 
and having a really rubbish time with it. So mm -hmm. he wrote her this, um, but she's doing really well now. She's cool. the nice ending to the story. Fantastic. She's just uh, started work again as a, a primary school teacher and uh, she's finished the main bulk of her treatment. Yeah. Um, and things seem to be looking much easier. And she got a song after that. And she got a song. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So this one's called Till the End. <laughs> 